you today with another fall wreath. I know it's a little early, but the reason being is that the, our wreath today is being made with pool noodles. It's pretty soon here, you won't be able to find them, but if you find this video late into the fall, then you can always go to a plumbing section at a store and find the foam tube insulation. Or if you look up and find two nesting foam wreath forms that will fit into each other. But the cheapest way is definitely two $1 pool noodles. Now I have a vision. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. We're, I'm just brainstorming here. But I have a pumpkin here that I want to put on my wreath. Now I could have definitely gone to any dollar store and bought a decorative pumpkin to put on my wreath. But I wanted something one of a kind. That's the reason why I make a lot of my home decor. This is an old card making trick is you take three ovals and you, and you place them on top of each other and it creates kind of a 3D pumpkin. Love the look of that. Went out in my yard and got a little, just a little piece of a, a limb and I kind of carved it down to fit behind the wood. I want to put my initial on here and you can stencil it or find some kind of letter. I just happen to have a metal address letter that I'm going to screw into my wood and it just worked out perfect just happened to have it but you could always you know just buy the, a letter just about any craft store sells them now I'm, I'm going to wrap my pool noodles in fabric and then as far as the floral and bow and stuff not sure hadn't got that far yet I'm debating on how I want to put the fabric on my noodle I may use these floral pins you can buy these at Walmart for a hundred for like a dollar something or I may just hot glue it hadn't decided yet so either way that's the purpose of this video is to show you what works and what didn't work and then the end result the first thing I I need to do is get my pool noodles cut covered in fabric and taped up now ready I have cut my noodles just to save some time I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that my outside noodle was 42 inches I really wanted my wreath just a little bit bigger but because my fat quarter fabric I had to make it a little smaller because I didn't want you know several inches of my blue noodle showing the outside noodle 42 inches long my inside noodle is 30 inches long so just keep that in mind if you buy the Dollar Tree noodles now I went ahead because once I get my fabric attached on there I'm, I'm gonna have to kind of hold it and tape it and so I went ahead and got me four pieces of duct tape already cut and ready so the inside of my noodle is going to be the the grayish fabric Once you got your noodle all covered, don't pin it all the way to the end because you've got to tape your ends together. About two pieces of duct tape should secure it pretty good. Now just peel it back over the tape, pin it really good, and I'm short just like an inch, but that's okay because that's where you know my pumpkin or something's gonna go, and so I'll be able to cover that up. It's no big deal if a little of something shows. That'll be the back anyway. Let me show you where I'm at now. All right, I got both my tubes done, and let me show you the back. That's, you know, just make sure that your staples are on the back side. Now, I showed you where my fabric didn't meet here, even cutting my wreath a little smaller. This is only if you use those little fat quarters from Walmart, but if you've got unlimited fabric, then make your wreath as big as you want. What I'm gonna end up doing here here is I'm gonna cover this up with either a bow or floral or put my pumpkin here or something and no one will ever be the wiser now as far as the snugness you know mine fit in there pretty snug using the measurements I gave you and I don't think I thought maybe I would have to hot glue it you know just to secure it but it is so snug I don't think I will have to even secure it in there and there's a few little places like this is a little pucker of the fabric i might put just a touch of hot glue just to smooth that down but so far so good i like the look of it so now what i need to do is go ahead and work on my pumpkin i've got to take off all the paper and all the little hangers and all that that came with it i'm gonna go ahead and hot glue them in place just like this to make it kind of look like a pumpkin. Now I'm gonna tell you full disclosure here, those little ovals from Walmart, the plaid wooden ovals, it was a booger to get that paper sticker off of them. I literally had to just wet them to get it off. So keep that in mind if you decide to do the wood pumpkin. But let me show you the back of it. It's just the two back ones meet together and then the top one. And I'm gonna paint it all 
with the apple barrel khaki color. When that's dry, I'm going to kind of distress the edges with my Tim Holtz Vintage Photo with one of these little blender sponges. two little silver screws. Now I'm ready to hot glue it onto my wreath. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it and decide. I'm probably, since I do have this little bad spot right here, um, I may put that on the bottom. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I also want to show you that I never throw away like little stems of bushes like this. The reason being is that when I do do pumpkin type crafts, these little green wires, I, what I did is I clipped them and I wrapped them around a pencil and then make the perfect little pumpkin curly cues. You know how pumpkins have that little stem doing out. So I'm gonna hot glue some of those around. So what I'm basically gonna do now is I'm gonna hot glue my pumpkin onto my wreath. I'm gonna put some kind of floral up here, maybe some so hot glue some flowers around the, the top of the pumpkin and then I'm going to hang it up and show you what it looks like. Hey friends, this is what I come up with. This is my pool noodle wreath, but I'm going to move in a little closer and give you just a couple notes about the project. Um, as far as my hanger, I had a little extra left for my smaller noodle and I just hot glued a tube of fabric, wrapped some jupe twine around that, and I have a nail sticking up and that's what my nail is actually just sticking in the back of that wrapped twine right there. That's what's holding it up. But as far as covering your noodle, uh, I think next time I'll probably hot glue instead of pinning it. The pinning worked fine if you have the floral pins, but I think it'd be much easier just to hot glue it and be done with it. Now, as far as the pumpkin, love the way that turned out. Uh, just be careful if you buy the wood ovals about the sticker not wanting to come off. And it would certainly be easier just to buy a dollar pumpkin somewhere at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. They are all over the place this size. I really do love it, one of a kind. So I hope it inspires you in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.